Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Well, that's not what these folks do. Yep, this is not nursery rhyme rowing. It's the Ann Arbor Rowing Club, a community rowing association that offers everyone and anyone the chance to race down the river in amazing speed and style. They're located on the Huron River, and they offer a complete range of rowing programs. But right now, the big question is, do they offer one I can accomplish? To help me accurately assess my aquatic attributes, I saddled up in a simulator for Lisa Sorathakis. Let me get this straight. You're gonna teach me three weeks of proper rowing technique in three minutes on this machine. Yes, absolutely. Did you warn everybody down the river that I'm gonna be out there? I did, it took me email after email, but I did <laughs> okay, it. Okay. Yeah, so they so, all should know. <laughs> so how, do, how does this all work? Okay, well first you wanna put your feet on these little nice feet pedals and your toes underneath the straps. Okay, strap in. Strap in, okay, and then you wanna Hold on to this. Because yeah, nice it seems and very simple. Rowing is rowing, right? I mean. Yeah, it's a little more difficult than it looks, but okay. it's not horrible. So, why don't you show me what you know? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like what I thought. I'm doing it bad, right? Um, not terrible, just maybe not um, the nice. best for your body. You want to be able to do it where you make the boat go fastest when you get in the water and that you're not going to injure yourself. Okay, okay. So it's like a three-part movement. Got So okay. come on all the way up to what we call the catch. So come up with a compression. Yes. First thing you're going to do is keep your arms straight, legs down, push with your legs. Mm -hmm. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pivot at your hips to an upright position. The last is to pull your hands in. So it's down. upright. Yes. And then you're going to put your hands out, pivot over, Legs up. So it's this one, two, three, one, two, three. Cha, one, cha, cha. Two, three, one, mm. two, three. Yeah, yeah. On a scale from one to two, how am I doing? I'm gonna give you a solid one and a half. Well, with one solid semi lesson under my belt, Lisa corralled a crew and we headed down the dock to hit the H20. Okay, Tom, welcome to the Ann Arbor Rowing Club. Thank you. We're happy to have you in our boat. Thanks for having me, everybody. <laughs> Everyone on the crew seemed to be genuinely happy that I was there. Until I started rowing, that is. Ow! It didn't come out of the water and it hurt me. Oh, Am I supposed, oh gosh. This isn't as easy as it looks. But not to worry, as usual, <laughs> I caught on quick. I've almost got the hang you of it. You got it. Let's work on that timing. Nice job, Tom. Nice. You know, you really have to pay attention. You had to pay attention. <laughs> Not that I'm not used to paying attention, but oh my gosh, when my oar goes too deep in the water. Yep. That's, if you go really too deep, you can do something called catching a crab. Catching a crab? Yeah, you don't want to do that. It's not like fishing in Alaska. Well, if you've got butter <laughs> and melted butter, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not a crab you can eat. <laughs> so if you had to sum up what's so special about this sport, what, how, what would you say? Well, my family, we call this our healthy little obsession. Yeah. Because it gets you outside. It gets you a lot of really good exercise. Yeah. You get to meet a ton of really nice people. Yep. And uh, you get to go and race at regattas if you want and bring home medals because inside we're all kindergartners who want medals. <laughs> I can guarantee I will not bring home any medals except maybe if it's a beer can. That's there the only go. medal that I will be bringing home. Oh yeah, and then there's the beer afterwards. That's a good thing too. We didn't mention that. <laughs> I want to join. <laughs> well, not only did I do a lot better than I thought I'd do, I had an absolute blast. If you're looking for a new hobby that'll help you connect with Michigan's great outdoors, this is a watery one you'll want to try.